In this presentation, we will describe intermolecular forces. This is a water molecule, which is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. The two hydrogen atoms are bonded to this oxygen atom by covalent bonds. Covalent bonds are very strong, and this means that the atoms within the molecule are held very tightly together. So, breaking this bond needs a lot of energy. Here we have molecules of H2O. Actually, the force of attraction between the individual molecules is relatively small, so it's a weak force, and it's called intermolecular forces between molecules. So, intermolecular forces are weak forces acting between molecules in a covalent substance. This means that overcoming these forces doesn't take much energy. So you have to differentiate between two types of forces which are intramolecular forces and intermolecular forces. Intramolecular forces are forces acting within the molecule and these are usually covalent bonds or ionic bonds and they are strong. On the other hand, intermolecular forces are forces of attraction between individual molecules in a covalent substance and they are weak. Intermolecular forces increase with the size of the molecules and this means that larger molecules will need more energy to overcome the intermolecular forces between them and thus they will have higher melting points and boiling points. So as the size of the molecules increase, the intermolecular forces will become stronger, so more energy will be needed and thus they will have higher melting and boiling points. For example, polymers are made from very long chain molecules, so the chain is very long and thus the size of the molecules is big. So the intermolecular forces will be stronger if we compare them with the smaller molecules. So the strong intermolecular forces acting between molecules of polymers make polymers solids at room temperature.